Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. Okay. What's going on for Taurus, please? Okay, three of swords I just saw. Six of wands. You guys are moving, definitely moving on from heartbreak. I feel like you guys... This was in the Scorpio and Collective reading I just did. It's like we're we're ending these cycles of having this emotional lack in our lives, right? And a lot of it has to do Ace of Pentacles at the foundation. A lot of it has to do with our foundation, I feel. A lot of it has to do with... You know, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, about how the way we perceive love and the way we perceive money are actually very similar. I feel like they work tandem, especially this day and age where material possession and material comforts and all this stuff is a really big part of relationships. So if we just open up that conversation and can actually admit that in some respects, two of cups, finances are a huge part of how love can flourish, right? I think so because... The more up-leveling I do, personally, Queen of Cups at the solar plexus, I want um, someone in my life who is well-rounded, right? Someone who has uh, done the work on themselves or is doing the work on themselves. Doing the work on themselves is perfectly fine. Even starting to do the work on himself, that is just leaps and bounds, okay? So uh, as you guys know, for people to actually start doing the work, it takes a lot of self-reflection and self-reflection uh, <laughs> self is very attractive. It's very admirable. And when you start self-reflecting, I know this based off of the experience, the universe opens up a floodgate of abundance to come towards you. So this is how I feel love and finance work in tandem okay this is just how i see it um at the moment and how i'm feeling it in this reading it's like we're looking for something well-rounded and i feel that this um like the energy i'm getting from this queen of cups right now is this person who's like they've kind of just started to do the work but they've definitely stepped into their power. But it's almost like they feel like they're late to the party a little bit. So they're like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm here. I don't know why I'm getting this energy. That's super weird energy to get. Um, okay, let's keep going here. Judgment. This has come out in the other two readings I did too. The tower. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to read this Queen of Cups here. See, this Queen of Cups is creating a lot of illusion for me. Nine of Pentacles at the third eye, which I think is the energy of that card right now. Like, it wants me to see it one way. But it's actually another. So I feel like this is the cycle you guys are ending. Four of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch decks here. There's a deep message in here, guys. Six of Wands at the foundation. Okay, what do we got? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This is about discernment. This is about your guys' discernment. Okay. I feel like the Taurus Collective, and this has been in the readings too, it's been all about discernment. Like you guys, Ten of Wands, you're seeing now how these people around you, because that Taurus energy is very fixed, right? And uh, it's look, it's hard to see things from a different vantage point sometimes Taurus for you guys because you guys get comfortable you get comfortable in your relationships you get comfortable with the people around you and that's good that's what we want right but unfortunately I feel like the big lesson here is is exactly that right here we are we'll sc oh, you're Scorpio Taurus Leo fixed Aquarius fixed energies you know we don't like to change well we're all being forced to change isn't that something right isn't that something right isn't it ironic? 
don't you think? Right? A fixed energy being forced to change. Page of Swords, because you're seeing these energies around you are not the energies you want to get comfortable within. Right? They're page energies. They're this fake Queen of Cups. See, it nearly fooled me, right? It like showed up to the party. Like, yeah, I'm for you. I'm here. I'm doing the work. Right? And I feel like that's how they're going to show up now. Like, you guys have maybe vocalized this in some sense and it's created towers in people's lives. Like, you're like... You're just basically stating, creating these boundaries of what you will and won't put up with anymore. And people are just falling by the waysides, right? And I feel like a lot of it has to do with you having to point out people's unhealed, unevolved, lack mentality, poverty mindsets, narcissism, gaslighting, you know, full Petri dish, just straight psychopaths in your life. And you've pointed this out. Let's see what demon we're dealing with, huh? Okay. Fergus, the hermit. Teaches philosophy, astrology, rhetoric, logic, palm reading, and divination and fire. This is an energy right here, right? Who pretended. It's like a pretend hermit. And you trusted them. So this could have been like your... Um, this could have been your parents. It could have been influential figures in your life that you trusted to lead you in the right direction. I know this energy, guys. It's like you get really far down this path in your life and you're like, wait a second. This isn't the correct path at all, right? And it's like energetically, you're like running back. And it's like, this is what this energy did. And it laughed. It's like, ha ha. Hmm. But it just laughed to itself because it was only funny to itself. It's like a very just narcissistic energy that likes to keep people held back because it can't look at itself in the mirror and actually evolve spiritually itself. Why? Because it's a demon. It's a demon, Taurus. Period. Point blank. It's a demon. Right? Valak. Right? Wheel of Fortune. So this is like telling me that it's... Okay. So this is like an energy... It tells where treasures are hidden, reveals hidden dangers, right? So this is an energy that tries to control your destiny. No, 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 that way the truth to the treasure. Down there will be danger, right? Where it's all the opposite. They send you, everything's the opposite, right? It's like the upside down. Oh, God. It's like leading you astray. I just saw the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So it's like this narcissistic energy... Constantly having you, like, question yourself, right? Saw the Page of Cups. Okay, let's close this out for Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? Okay, what else? Whoa. Damn, this card slapped out. Nine of Pentacles. So you got the Nine of Pentacles twice here, Taurus. Ten of Pentacles here. So you guys breaking out of this cycle in due time, if it hasn't already started to happen, you guys are going to start reaping the rewards of this. This is going to be pretty major for you guys. Okay, so just stay on your paths. Keep working on the things that you're passionate about. Not others, just you. Listen to yourself and yourself only. Because if you've been doing this work like I'm feeling you guys have been, like I'm picking up on this collective of Tauruses, Nobody can tell you shit, okay? You're it. Period. Taurus, if you guys want a personal reading, all that information will be in the description below. I'm constantly updating my website with different pricing. It all goes off of, based off of um, my uh, bookings that I have at any given time. Uh, I get really busy. I get a lot of emails. So if you guys email me looking for information on readings, just keep it brief, and clear. Let me know what you're looking for, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you send me really long emails, they have to go to the back of the line. I can't read all that. Um, so just keep it short. And then once I have you booked in, we can open up the lines of communication and discuss your reading in further detail. Okay, guys, please like and subscribe. And guys, thank you for your donations. I really appreciate it. Take care.